Hi, this is Tom Patry, and uh, I want to review a swing we've all seen so many times and grown accustomed to, although lately it doesn't look like quite like the one we're going to see right here. Uh, and obviously we all know we're looking at Tiger Woods. Um, you know, this is a film taken a couple of years back uh, for a Nike commercial, and um, as, I, as I watch this film, and I watch it often, I often wonder why anybody would deviate from something that looks almost technically perfect in this frame right here. Um, and I want to walk, walk you through a few key positions in the golf swing and, and how Tiger moves his club around. Uh, it's a beautiful, graceful move. And I'm going to play it once in regular motion for you and, uh, and let you view it. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen this commercial, it's, uh, it was widely used by Nike in one of their ad, ad campaigns. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of film. Uh, they did an unbelievably, unbelievably great job with this piece of film, and uh, it's magnificent. And, and, and you can see the athlete uh, in its, it's probably in its purest form, um, graceful, supple, um, extremely athletic, balanced, powerful, um, doing so many things with a golf club that so many, so many of us envy on the outside looking in. Um, and I'm going to take it through through uh, again for you in more of a frame by frame type of motion and, and break it down a little bit uh, as I see it as an instructor. Um, but even with the nuances that I'll point out that aren't exactly maybe textbook perfect in a couple of spots, why would you change this? Why would you <laughs> why would you do anything to this really? Uh, but but some occasional tweaks, uh, if you will. At address, um, maybe one of the most athletic setups we've ever seen. Uh, obviously, a body that uh, could play tight end, I'm sorry, wide receiver possibly in the NFL. Um, strong, uh, braced, solid, supple over it. Uh, his arms extended beautifully in front of his chest cavity. Uh, he, the V of his arms coming down and the, and the V of his legs coming up from the ground, uh, almost bisecting perfectly each other. Uh, his head slightly behind the golf ball. Obviously, uh, a very, very neutral grip. Um, just a, a beautiful athletic uh, way of addressing the golf ball. As he moves the golf club away, he uh, creates a rather wa wide takeaway, creates a lot of radius in his golf swing. But sequencing, sequencing of his arms and his uh, club shaft and torso here, I thought in this point in time, was, was magnificent. Uh, and, and as he did that, the stability of his lower body uh, and his ability to keep that structure uh, and that solid base, uh, almost like it's adhered to the ground, was magnificent. Um, he moved a little further into the backswing and maybe by some people's standards set the club a little bit late uh, I think more of a style preference than a technique flaw. Um, again, the sequencing of his torso and his arms, beautiful. Keeping the club in front of him at this point in the swing pretty well. And again, maintaining that structure in his lower body. Uh, really, really solid base, which, uh, which I'm a big believer in, um, in terms of you know, being able to wind the upper against the lower. Uh, a great job here. At the top of his backswing, you know, certainly for me a position of envy, great flexibility, great athleticism, a lot of width, well behind the golf ball. Again, maintaining stability in his lower body. I keep saying that. I can't stress that enough. He, he really stays adhered to the ground beautifully, uh, and, and his pelvic girdle is, you know, very, very centered at this point. Club shaft obviously down the line, and... Um, great extension in his arm swing. So really a textbook position at this point in time. Downswing, here's where we have our first uh, maybe glimpse of a little bit of a flaw. Gets a little bit lateral early with his uh, pelvic girdle, and that little bit of lateral move too early, I feel, is one of the contributing factors to getting that right arm at times trapped behind his right hip. Um, that's, uh, I think that's the point in time where Tiger at time, times runs into problems and gets a little trapped and, and causes some of those shots that he doesn't recover with very well and goes out to the right. Uh, that 
eventually leads to him trying to manipulate the club with his hands and, and then with a shot left. So if I were going to fix anything in Tiger Woods' golf swing, it would be this it'd be this frame right here. And I'd, uh, I'd do some drills with him staying a little more centered, a little more patient with his lower body and getting his right elbow more in front of his right hip at this point in time. And I've got to believe as good an athlete as this person is that, uh, that he could do this. Uh, it's something that's, that he can accomplish. Uh, you know, with the with the club member who does things like this, you know, we do a lot of things with their feet together. We do a lot of things with, uh, you know, slow motion drills and mirror work where you just try, try to feel the right arm getting more in front of the right hip. But as athletic as this player is, uh, I, I just find it hard to believe that this hasn't been addressed and uh, isn't addressed and readdressed. Because, you know, I think we all have golf DNA, you know. That is, our, our flaws come back if they're not on a maintenance program. So I think that would be a, a, a huge upside for Tiger if he could work on this area right here. Impact, because he's an athlete, he recovers and, and gets the club squared up at times on a, you know, on a pretty regular basis. But on the PGA Tour, we only have to hit one shot around to cost us. So great impact position, arms in front of his body, left leg braced, head behind the golf ball. Um, you know, I think, again, a very envious position. Because of his athleticism, he creates great extension in his through motion while maintaining that brace in the left leg. Um, I know that left knee is taking some pressure, um, but I think this is a very, very uh, fundamental feature of all good players when hitting up a, hitting up against a very firm left side. Um, so um, I'm not sure what you can do structurally here to take pressure off his left knee. Um, but I think this is a fundamental position that great ball strikers get into in terms of the stability of their left leg through the impact zone and extending the golf club down the target line. And again, a wonderful finish condition, athletic post up into his left side. Again, uh, a real testament to this kid's flexibility and athleticism. Just one of the really beautiful golf swings uh, that we've ever seen play the game. And it's hard to believe that uh, as knowledgeable as he is, that he doesn't look at a piece of film like this and just say, let's just go back here and do the things at this point in time that I was working on. Um, stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to drop a few drills in for you folks at home uh, to view uh, based on what we talked about, and I hope you enjoy them. And Come back and see us again soon. Visit me at www.tompatry.com. Uh, we have a online virtual video analysis academy there where you can uh, drop your own film in and uh, we'll be glad to uh, analyze it for you and get it back to you with full audio, video, and graphic capabilities. Stay tuned for a few drills.